What is up, gang? Back here again with that Lakers reactions. Here with your boy Mark, and let's get it going. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe. Really, it means a lot to me. Thank you again for all the support. And just with some random news, with other news other than the Lakers, he was supposed to be at least a really good player and All Star for at least a few years, many years to come. Not super superstar, but at least a decent star. Brandon Knight tearing his ACL again. Not again, but just another injury for him. And he was actually looking really sure. good when he first started off his career. He was with the Bucks, Nets, and then now here with Phoenix. And I thought him and Bledsoe, Kentucky back guard, they could get it going. But Phoenix kept stacking on their guards and their forwards. They got um, all these Kentuckians now. Um, Tyler Ulis. Devin Booker as well now, Bledsoe again. They had all these TJ Warren, all these guys like random. But um, the thing that I want to get back to is Lakers. We signed at least. We got a backup point guard. He was here last year, and his name was Tyler Ennis. You guys remember him? Tyler Ennis. He had some nice three-point shots, but again, when he drive and trying to even lay it up, he missed easy layups, which he should have made. That's why I got a knock him. Like, you can tell if a player is good if they can easily get to the basket, make a right, left-handed layup easily if they can get to the basket with ease. Look at James Harden. At least he knows how to get the foul call now, too, you know? A lot of players hate that, or fans just like us hate that. Whoops, sorry. He's left that. But again, Tyler Ennis, that's okay. But let's look at the lineup. Tell me what you all think if this is accurate. I just want to give some quick guesses what we, what we think maybe the Lakers might average. I'm going to say actually they're going to get 43 wins. Comment what you all think about that one. I think they'll, they'll get the 8 seed actually. Wow, as a rookie, Lonzo Ball as a rookie. I was saying this last year when Brandon Ingram came. Because when he first came on the scene from Duke. I was like, wow, this kid, uh, we are all jumping for joy when we had that draft lottery and we got that number two pick. And then days later, Philly confirmed they were probably going to take Ben Simmons, Brett Brown from Australia with his dad, whatever story. Trust the doctors. You, we all get it. Oh, shit. And Joel Embiid, hey, I want to give a quick shout out to Laker Nation, though. I was on that Twitter. I was just checking how you can catch my Twitter at Left Your Mark. It's on my profile on YouTube right here. You can check right there with all the links. And then Joel Embiid was like, oh, I'll sign a billion dollar contract with BBB Big Baller Brand. And then all the comments were like, what? They don't make BBB crutches. And all these all these other one trusted doctors. Again, just hilarious. If you guys can just search it up. But, okay, 43 wins. So I keep getting off topic. This is going to be more lengthier video sorry about that i think lonzo ball he's gonna have a spectacular season he's gonna get i'll say he can get close to 11 12 points 10 assists really 9 10 assists and i'll say six rebounds like we all had high expectations for brandon ingram honestly last year i thought he was gonna get like 17 6 and 3 like he was actually decent at the end of the year he was averaging like 15 4 and 2 4 and 3 but Lonzo Ball if he can adjust to the game as it seemed he did in summer league because Brandon Ingram did not I love Brandon Ingram but he did not show that much like skills I know it's just summer league but in his first summer league he didn't show that much until his last game when he dropped that 22 points he gave him the Izzy y'all remember that one with ice in my veins snake in my veins but there you go i think yeah he'll probably have a he'll have a good season tell me what y'all think comment on that one brandon ingram what i think he'll get next year i'm hoping he'll actually get that stats i i was hoping he'd get in his work year maybe get 17 17 5 and 3 hopefully he can get something like that I'll say Brooke Lopez, he'll get he'll get a 20 pointer. 21. 21 and 7. Rebounds. 6 rebounds. 
these are all just numbers, you know. It's not like I'm a real analyst. Well, maybe not an analyst. And sorry if I sound kind of sick. Just been drinking a lot of night clothes. Sorry if I like, look like I'm all fucked up. All fucked up. But Julius Randle. All right, let's get to that boy Julius though. A lot of people doubting him. I hate it. I'm honestly it really upsets me. People are actually saying trade him or don't even start him. They just say Kyle Kuzma now. Like what though? But Julius Randle, I'm gonna predict he'll have a really good year. He's gonna have something in the ballpark of 18 and 9. I think he can get an 18 and 9 season, maybe even 18 and 10 double double season if he gets that ferocious double double handoff to what's his name he can be the lineman bro he can be the center he, instead of power forward he's a center in football terms and we got Lonzo Ball as the QB imagine that and that'd be crazy we got Julius Randle right there he was productive in this basically his second year last year because he broke his leg again the quick story he broke his leg his first game against Houston Rockets wow how sad you break your leg in the first game Paul, Paul, Paul George and then after that your second year when you or it's actually your rookie year he's playing with Kobe Bryant like really damn okay now we got KCP I don't know he's not really much of a scorer he's very inconsistent streaky I'll say he'll get that 15 to 17 points. Hopefully, he'll increase since I think if I was looking at Detroit numbers, just looking at numbers, no analysts, not, nothing like that. Not with my sources, because it's all on Twitter, yo. And then KCP was averaging around like 13, 14 points in the past three years there. But I think he can up it up a little bit, two or three points, why not? Especially in a team they consider you a veteran, they'll probably think of him more as a leader right there at 24. Wow. That's why Julius Randle, he should be getting a lot of the shots. Ingram should be looking to score more. No Nick Young, no Lou Williams, no D'Angelo Russell. The thing I didn't like about D'Angelo Russell is just too much flair. He tried to make everything look all fancy when he could have just made the quickest pass like Lonzo Ball. You see Lonzo Ball, he's none, nothing with that BS. You just make that quick pass. Tell me if I'm wrong. You can comment it. I don't care. Unsubscribe. But really, this is why I like Lonzo Ball more. He's unselfish and he just gets the ball out. He just gets the ball out of his hands to the next player and they're going to do something with it or they're going to bring it back and he can drive to Lonzo Ball, he's good, he can drive. He can get that foul call, he was making a lot of free throws on the previous game, I think against the Mavericks before he was going out or the other games other than his first game against the Clippers. Yeah, and then Brandon Ingram with him too, running the floor, Julius Randle on the wing if he didn't get the rebound, but Lopez trailing. Lonzo Ball can either drive, shoot the long ball, I know it's not proven he can do it in regular season yet, but imagine that though, we see a lot of potential in this duo, maybe even trio of Randall if he proves himself this season, and if they don't trade him before trade deadline obviously, that means maybe he might be in for the long haul, because they'll probably move him if they're thinking of not even signing him for the long term. Tell me what y'all think about this. Thank you again for the support. I think 43 games. And I'm sorry, I gotta... I had to forget about some fools. Larry Nance, he's good. Energy guy. Got that bunny hops. And then another guy in Kyle Kuzma. Alright, they're saying he's starting over Randall or even Nance. What next? Brandon Ingram? Are you kidding me now? Just kidding. And then JC. How could we forget JC? He's on the trading block, right? Just kidding, y'all. Thanks again for all that support. Peace. Thank you.